Hello there and welcome to this series on how to build an online shop with the Code Igniter framework. If you've been following my Yi uh, tutorials, don't worry, I haven't given up on those. I'm going to do this as well, you know. Now, this tutorial series is for people who have followed the HMVC tutorials that I've done in the past. That's the Code Igniter HMVC tutorials. And also the HMVC Build a CMS series. Uh, David Connolly, how to build a CMS with Code Igniter. This as well, okay? Hello there, it's David Connolly here. So, this is for people who have followed those two vibes. If you have not followed those two vibes, go to YouTube, do a search for Code Igniter HMVC. Uh, and here I am here. I highly recommend you go through this, especially at least this first video. It's only 10 videos and that will get you up and running with HMVC, okay? Now, this series is going to be a, a different from anything I've done in the past because uh, I'm going to be working a lot quicker here. It's not going to be very graceful. You're going to see lots of mistakes and things because I haven't done this for ages. And it's kind of going to be like as if you're looking over my shoulder here. Can you handle it? And that's the vibe. And to give you an idea of where we're going, I'm going to try and build something like this. I always look at guitars online. I don't know why. I have this strange guitar fetish. I think they look awesome, you know. So I'm going to build a site that maybe looks something like this, an online shop, or maybe something like this. Like this. I don't know. Uh, and it's going to probably have a PayPal checkout. Uh, I'm going to add a customer login, order tracking, uh, perhaps a PDF invoicing system. And as much as I can throw at it. But the other thing I'm going to add is some jQuery mobile stuff. So the idea is that when people view on a mobile device, uh, unlike this website, actually, I don't think this does it, but I'm not sure, um, it's going to look amazing. Now, I know that a lot of you people are into Bootstrap, and Bootstrap's nice, and it looks okay on a mobile. But let me tell you something. Until you have tried jQuery Mobile, you have not lived because it's a whole different experience. It's going to look like a mobile app, you know? And if you do this right, you can actually mess with people's minds because they look at these things on their phones and they say, man, I don't remember download downloading an app, you know? So that is the standard. So it's going to look awesome on a desktop, awesome on a laptop and everything, but on a mobile device, it's going to be really super cool. And that is it, okay? So let's start by downloading the latest version of Code Igniter. Now, once again, I apologize for going fast. I am going to go fast. And I apologize for all of the mistakes that I'm going to make as well, okay? So let's do a search uh, for HMVC Code Igniter now and we'll get the files for HMVC and I'm going to get them from this downloads page here download repository this is from Wired Designs I think that's the guy's name anyway and if we go into the downloads folder here they are so let's extract the code igniter one and let's rename it to CI shop okay uh, now that's something that we don't need and this is something that we do need. I'm going to drag this CI shop thing into the htdocs folder. Okay. Apparently, I had one in there already. It must have been a practice run. But I've just dragged CI shop, CI stands for Code Igniter, into htdocs. Can you handle the vibe? Now I'm going to extract the wired designs files. And you'll see that there's two folders here, one called Core and one called Third Party. I'm going to go into Application, Core, and I'm going to take these two little beauties here and then drag them into this. Come on, where did you go? Drag them into this Core folder here. Then I'm going to go into this Third Party thing. I'm going to take this MX Vibe and I'm going to drag this into here. Okay, that's not too bad at all. Now I'm going to go into Sublime Text here and with, let's see, uh, there we go, with great excitement 
I'm going to go into the HD Docs folder and CI Shop, and this is where all the action happens. Now, in this application folder, I'm going to make a folder up and I'm going to call it Modules. This is where the modules are going to live. And I'm going to create a brand new folder and I'm going to call it First Try. This is our First Try module. Inside here, there's going to be a folder called Controllers. And inside here, there's going to be a PHP file called firsttry.php. Okay, not too bad, yes, not too bad. Now, there's a little readme file here that I want to check out um, that came with the thing. And yeah, this is what I wanted here. Um, this is the vibe, this is the basic structure of one of the module files. So that's what we're going to use here, okay? So if we go into this first, first try thing here and do this first try, then I'm going to make up a function here called hello. Now, by the way, most of the stuff that I write looks like this, okay? But recently I've noticed that this has became fashionable. So I'm going to try and go with the fashion and write this way, but it doesn't really matter. You see me doing it old school in this way. Who cares, right? Anyway, I'm going to say echo, hooray, the modules vibes are working. Okay, so if we now go to uh, localhost forward slash CI shop, we have a welcome page here, but if we go to forward slash first try and then forward slash hello, nothing happens, but you know something? I think that's because we need to say index dot php yay the module vibes working now this index dot php is highly uncool so let's get rid of that okay um to do that i'm gonna where did my shop folder go man i thought i had it up here anyway i'm gonna go into ht uh, docs here uh, let me just see where are we are at ci shop right okay so that's that that's cool. I'm going to make up a new vibe here. And I'm going to go into htdocs again because I'm going to borrow some code, you know. I have not got time to faff about and I did say it was going to be fast, you know. So um, I'm looking for an htdocs file somewhere. Let me just see. Insider club. Man, I thought I had one in here. Hello, do we have an htdocs file somewhere? Could this be one? Sorry, not htdocs, HD access. Man, HD, what is this? What on earth is this? I don't know what's going on with that file. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm going to find one, you know. Ah, here we go. Right, HD access. Excellent. I'll borrow that and drag it across. Confession time. I can never remember the code for these HD access things, you know. I just can't remember the code. It's a real drag, you know. But here's what it looks like. You may want to pause the screen. And uh, there you go, you know. Will I make it bigger? Does that help? Okay. So there you have it. It's the HD access file. Now, with a bit of luck, we no longer need this index.php in here. Okay, excellent. Things are looking good. So the next stage is, let's go to the database. We'll create a new uh, database called CI Shop, like so. Okay, things are looking good. Things are looking good. I'm going to now open up a file called config.php and we'll set the base URL forward slash. Is that right? Let me just check. Yep, that's cool. Um, okay, index page is cool. This request URI, I'm going to change it to auto. That works best on my own local host. You may be different. Different computers have different vibes. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Yeah, I'm going to go to the database file. 
and username we'll change it to root and the database is going to be CI shop that's pretty cool and then there's a file called autoload and I'm going to autoload some stuff I cannot remember what I need to autoload but who cares I'll get it from something else so let me just have a wee look at one of my old projects Kajabi killer <laughs> let's see um, you know I could probably copy and paste this but I'll open it up so that you can see what's happening right so on the libraries front we're auto loading database and session right so libraries database and session can you handle that next on the helper front we're going to auto -lo load form URL and HTML okay so here we go helper form URL HTML I think that's it I do believe that's it what was that drivers thing I can't remember seeing that before is this a new thing let me just check now I think that's it I think we've managed to do this so library mod model everything cool right I do believe that that is it so if we go to first try hello again everything's looking cool and that is us um, now in a previous video I mentioned a thing called the the perfect module I think I called it or copy this or something like that okay it was one of those things that I threw in to make life a bit easier when we're making new modules and here's one of them here right so I'm going to copy that little son of a gun and I'm going to paste it into let me just see application modules there we go okay now if you followed the other tutorials you'll know what's happening here let me just show you let me just show you uh, I'll close these tabs to the right so I've added in this copy this thing which is a little trick of mine and we have this perfect I call it the perfect controller I'm sure it's not perfect but it gives me access to all of the basic stuff that I'm probably going to need when I'm making up a you know controller file and then I have this MDL perfect model nothing's perfect in this life I'll bring this up a wee bit and I'll bring this up a wee bit as well um, but again this gives me access to all of the stuff that I need everything is cool thank you very much it's all fine and that is it I might even add a views file in here I think I will new folder views okay so now we are ready that's the installation everything is cool thank you very much and hello Honolulu I am gonna upload this here this thing that I've just showed you guys I'm going to upload this to the Insider Club website. Yeah, the vibe is when you go in, I'm going to add a thing, build an online shop, right, with Code Igniter. And when you go in to the first video, I just want to show you guys what it looks like, right? You're going to have a download the code thing here. See that? And I'm going to add this entire thing in here, okay? So, follow along by all means. But if you want, you can just download this at the Insider Club website. It's at insiderclub.org. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.